I love offering outdoor sessions for my clients, but there are a few things that you've got to consider and remember when you are planning them. The most important part of the process is going to be communication. You've got to know everything beforehand. You've got to know how they want to be photographed. You've got to know locations, times, dates, all of those things. And you're going to be able to plan something that's going to be a fun and enjoyable experience for both your client and yourself. When you are communicating with your clients, it's really important to understand how they're feeling throughout their pregnancy. So doing an outdoor session, depending on how far you've got to walk um, to a location or once you arrive at the destination, you know, how far you've sort of got to trek into wherever it is that you want to take photos, you've got to know, you know, if they're up to it physically, because not all pregnant women, even though they look amazing, um, feel their best. So you don't want to book a session like this or, you know, choose a location that's on the top of a mountain where they've got a hike or climb um, late on in their pregnancy. So you've got to know what they are physically capable of. They need to be hydrated. They also need to have eaten before a shoot, really important, because you don't want them feeling faint or dizzy or anything like that. And when you are planning those outdoor sessions, make sure you consider the time of day. It's going to impact your light, number one, but also if you are in a hot location, it could be really uncomfortable for a pregnant woman. You know, when they're pumping so much extra blood around their body, they can overheat very quickly. So. When I'm booking a session for outdoor, it's either going to be first thing in the morning, early, when, the, when the, the sun's quite sort of low, or it's going to be late in the afternoon. And if, if it's overcast, brilliant. If not, you're going to have to have a look at different sort of areas within the location that you choose on how you can provide some type of shelter and shade. Um, a couple of really great tips is also take some little fold up chairs so that you know you can have a break, make sure that you've got bottles of water for both your client and yourself and consider when you are going to that location if there are going to be any sort of dangerous, um, I suppose, you know, animals. <laughs> I live in Australia where we have many different deadly snakes and things like that so I've got to be very careful where we are going in terms of you know anything that could be out there that could be harmful to my client and myself as well. You've also got to make sure that when they're wearing long dresses and they are work, walking on uneven surfaces that they're not going to trip and fall. So you've got to you know take care of them and sort of Think of everything that could possibly go wrong beforehand so that you can prevent anything from happening. Another few, another few important things to remember is um, keeping it really short. You don't want an outdoor session, especially if it's very warm and or humid outside, to go for a long period of time. Because when pregnant women stand for too long on their feet, their feet can become swollen and they can get very uncomfortable. So always consider those things. That's why that pre-planning and communication is going to be the best thing that you can do for a successful outdoor shoot. All right, so we are just around the corner from my studio. As you can see, this is a very busy road and we've got some greenery in behind us. It is not a flash location at all, but I'm gonna show you how we can look for different backgrounds in amongst all of that to create some really beautiful portraits.